Hello, everybody. So today we'll be solving um, this problem shown here on the screen. Uh, the, in this problem, we have a barge is being pulled by two tugboats. If the resultant of the forces exerted by the tugboats is 5,000 pounds directed along the axis of the barge, meaning the horizontal axis here, determine the tension in each of the ropes knowing that the alpha angle is 45 degrees. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to draw our free body diagram so it's a little bit easier to understand what is going on. And since all points connect here at B, we are going to make B our origin point of our free body diagram. So if we have our x-axis and then our y-axis, we are going to have this first tugboat, well, tugboat A, pulling in this direction which is 30 degrees off the X. And then we have tugboat C, which is pulling down here, and it is stating that this alpha angle is 45 degrees. And it is saying that these tugboats are pulling with such tension on this barge that the resultant between these two is directly horizontal here in the direction of the axis of the barge and that is 5,000 pounds. So we have to determine these two forces, FA and FC, such that the result in between them is directly along the x-axis there. So what this means is that when you sum forces in the x direction or the y direction, the x direction is going to end up being 5,000 pounds due to the resultant there. And then Fy is going to be zero because these two forces are going to combine to be 100% in the x and nothing in the y. So when we combine each of their components individually, there is nothing in the y and they're 100% in the x axis. So what we can do here is that we can sum forces in the y direction and we'll take each component being upward as positive being downward as negative so the component for fa will be going upwards the component um, for fc in the y direction will be going downwards because this fa is up and to the right so its component will be upward and fc is going down into the right so its component in the y direction will be going downward so essentially what we have right here is fa and it will be sine of that 30 degree angle because the y component is opposite this angle. The angle is touching the x, so the y will be with sine, the x will be with cosine. And then minus fc since its component is going downward, and that will be sine of 45 for the same reason as before. The angle is off of the x, so the y component will be going downward, so that would be sine since it's opposite. And since the resultant is 100% in the x-axis, those two have to combine to be zero in the y direction. Can't really do anything with this equation just yet. So anytime that happens, just go to your other summation equation, which this one is in the x, and we will take everything to the right as positive. So with FA, the component will be to the right, and the same thing for FC the component will be to the right because this arrow is up and to the right. So it'll be up to the right. FC is down and to the right. So it'll be down and to the right, which makes sense because they're both going to have to combine to be 5,000, which is to the right. So writing out the FX equation, sticking with FA first, we'll have FA and this time will be cosine of 30 degrees because the cosine is adjacent. The angle is off of the X. So that is an adjacent component. And then same reasoning behind FC also being cosine of its angle, which is 45. And these two will have to combine to be 5,000. So once again, we can't solve this FX equation individually, but what we can do is that we can rearrange this FY in, um, in terms of one of our unknowns, FA or FC, and then plug it into our FX equation to solve for that um, unknown. So from the Y equation, we will get, if we rearrange for FA, we are going to get FC sine of 45 
divided by the sine of 30. And this comes out to be sine 45 divided by the sine of 30 is 1.414 FC. So we're going to take this and we're going to plug it in here for FA. So plugging this in, this FX equation becomes 1.414 FC times the cosine of 30 plus FC cosine of 45, and that has to be equal to 5,000 pounds. So if you take 1.414 times the cosine of 30 and add it with the cosine of 40, we end up with 1.932 FC equal to 5,000 pounds. So we can easily get, oh, well, there's color change for some reason. So we can easily get FC here by taking the 5,000 and dividing it by 1.932. And this gives us 2,588 pounds in that general down right direction. So there's one of our answers. And then we can take this FC value and we can take that and plug it back over here and multiply it by 1.414 and then we can get FA. So FA is 1.414 times the 2,588. And that gives us an FA value of 3,659.4 pounds in that general upright direction. So those are our two answers. And if you want to double check to make sure that you've done everything correctly, what you can do is that you can revisit this FX equation or the FY equation, for instance, but most likely do the FX because it has more terms in it. You can plug in for FA the 3659.4 and then plug in for FC what you have here at 2588. And it should roughly come out to be 5,000. Um, Typically, when you're doing this, it'll be really difficult to get it to the exact number it needs to be. Um, as long as it's in the relative ballpark, it is close because you're going to have rounding differences because, as you can see, we round it all the way through. So it may be like 4,999.2 or something like that, but that is relatively close speaking to how large these actual values are. So these are the two answers, um, the two uh, tension forces that are occurring within um, this problem.